whilst Josh and them explore the wildlife wonders sanctuary. Go on, now I can't, I can't even you see, see him. He's now. just up there. No, no, I can't see him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Eight news. He's chubby. <laughs> yeah. I decided I'd drop into Apollo Bay Distillery to catch up with old friend Janine Rose for a drink and to find out how Apollo Bay Distillery has grown since we last caught up. So the Apollo Bay Distillery, obviously one of the icons of town. What yep. sort of people do you get coming in? Oh, look out. This is all right, isn't it? Yeah. Service with a smile. Fantastic. Good on you, mate. Um, what sort of visitors do you get? Um, well, we've really noticed, um, well, when we first started the business, it was literally um, three or four weeks before COVID hit. So, you know, like Apollo, Apollo, Apollo Bay have this, um, like it's always had quite an international um, audience and a lot of tourists coming through. So once that hit, it was literally, you know, it killed the whole thing. During the year, you've got probably 1,500 people is your permanent population. And then over summer, it gets up to about 15,000. Yeah, we are big growth. And these guys would have absolutely no problem accommodating large crowds all year round. Whether you're here for the varieties of gins or vodkas, the delicious food, or just to take a look, you won't leave disappointed. So what have we come up with here? I've got to turn this around because the presentation's pretty cool too, isn't it? Oh, that's right. And a lot of it, you know, you, you want to um, use the right tonics to go for the, the different gins and things like that. I so, remember that from my last visit. You are very specific about that. Yeah, and, and it does make a big difference to what you're having. Because, I mean, like, you know, in the past, a lot of people would have, you know, just basically had those really bitter tonics. And that's why a lot of people went, oh, gin and tonic, oh, I don't, I don't want to have that. It was, it was mainly because the tonic was pretty, uh, well, pretty rough. I've, I've got to tell you, you, you turned the corner for me when I was here last because I was exactly that person. Every time someone had given me a G and T before then, it was like rip the back out of your throat. But it changed by having the right tonics. Coupled with a roster of well-trained and friendly staff, I think it's safe to say that you could easily spend a few evenings in and have something new to try each time. And so the one we've got, um, this uh, last one here, yeah. this is our um, our B be happy um, and so that's what I came for yeah <laughs> and so what we're doing so we're mixing that with uh, with ginger beer and so what we're doing we're actually um, the pro the proceeds for this one of the profits for this actually go to the um, a bee foundation yeah cool so what just to help the bees get out there and make honey um, yeah so it's it's about like you know sustainable um, growth food growth and everything like that and so what the um, the foundation do the um, bee wheel and foundation is that they actually um, use the, the funds to do research. So if I drink this gin, yep. I'm actually helping the environment. Exactly, that's oh, right. Oh, so good make, it, make it feel good. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if they put the word saint in front of my name after this. <laughs> a visit to Apollo Bay Distillery would not be complete without trying a gin flight, consisting of the handcrafted gins distilled on site using local botanicals. These unique gins are linked to the ships that sailed off this treacherous coast many years ago and serve as a strong reminder of Apollo Bay's nautical history. Yeah, so give that one a go and see what uh, see what you think about that one. Here's to the bees. Again, completely different, but smooth. So what would you say to everyone at home if they were sitting there going, I've never been to Apollo Bay, what's a really good reason to come down here, other than the gin of course? Uh, I mean like Apollo Bay, like you know, if you like the, it, it's got like in summer, you know, you can be on the beach and it's beautiful and then in winter it can get really wild and everything like that, so you know, like you know, sit in front of a wood fire and have a nice gin or a whiskey, there's lots of things I reckon I'll let them do all that and I'll... Um... Come and have a gin with you, Janine. Yeah, no good worries. Work. Keep up the good work. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. It's got to be said after trying each gin on the platter, these guys certainly know their stuff. And the idea that some of their range is contributing to good causes is a testament not only to their generosity, but also to their respect for the craft and the value it brings.